Okay, so another quick little update. Um, while rebuilding the frame, I noticed that the well, the chassis bolts, the bolts that hold the you know the wooden structure down to the metal frame, were pretty much gone and rotten and crappy. So what I did is took some of these anchor bolts, pre-drilled these holes and slam these anchor bolts down in there and yeah, believe it or not it worked pretty dang good uh, got a couple holes over there i gotta fill i couldn't find the frame uh, apparently there was a weak spot over there found it so i'm gonna have to fix that too but on the upside my new framing that i'm putting in is turning out to be pretty damn sturdy so this ought to work pretty nice. Just got a little bit more framing to go right here. Another board, you know, right there. And then another one right there. So, yeah, fun stuff. Peace out. Okay, so another quick little update. So uh, the reason I found out this corner was bowed out so bad is because when the wood rotted out down here, the wall actually sunk. So what I did to correct the issue has made this fun little thing and just used a bottle jack to kind of get it into position and then took a nice long board and you know just used a little leverage lifted it up right now i got it supported by a little chunk of wood there but i gotta check my measurements now with the other wall because that wall is still good and Double check measurements, make sure the height's correct on both sides. And if so, I'll lock her down in place. So, yeah, just a fun little idea. If anybody else is having trouble with sagging walls, this is one way to do it. Um, it worked pretty good, so just thought I would share that little tidbit. All right, bye. Okay, so another quick little thing. Um, while we were out at Walmart shopping, you know, for uh, a couple things for the camper, uh, you know, adapter and whatnot for the power supply, uh, decided to pop over into the paint aisle real quick and found this, the fibered aluminum roof coating. And, you know, it comes with a seven year warranty. It's uh, reflective to help, you know, reflect away sunlight and all that stuff to keep it a little cooler inside but what's even better about this stuff is because of the dented ass cans and whatnot we saved a buttload of money on it look how much we paid for this crap dude so there was two cans and I'm probably not going to need both of them for the camper, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. And I want to make sure that roof doesn't leak ever again. Like, ever. So, I'm probably going to end up putting both cans on there in pretty thick layers. But first, there's a few things I got to do to the camper. Well, hello. It, one can't really see it but this stupid thing is one of those screw up freaking antenna deals I don't know what the hell I don't know it's stupid and doesn't work I tried cranking it up and it didn't do a damn thing so yeah anyway yeah this is the outside of the camper not too bad it looks okay needs a good bath and probably a fresh coat of paint and new tires it was funny when we were towing this thing home just as we crossed the railroad tracks about a block away from our house these two tires decided they didn't want to hold air anymore <laughs> so we just barely got it home before they went flat completely so yeah well, yeah minnesota in february nice and snowy it's a beautiful and warming 28 degrees Ugh. so yeah all right
Ah, yeah. and the fun little workspace I get to work in. Well, it's not really little, but yeah. All right, well, see you later. All right, and there we go. Substructure for the floor, for the well, for this part anyway, is done. So now I just need to go and put the foam board insulation in. Well, first, actually, I gotta fix the the joists on the wall. Well, the wall studs. See where they're kind of hanging free there. I gotta make a bit to go underneath those. But first, I gotta pull the damn staples out of the things. I'm not sure yet if I can save those. I'm going to try because those bottoms look pretty rotten. So I'll try and save them. If not, I'll just, I don't know, I'll figure something out there. But otherwise, looking pretty good. All right, on to the next project. All right, update time. Got the subfloor, sidewalls, and back wall finished <sighs> yeah that was fun so everything is nice and sturdy this whole back wall is actually really nice and stout now so no worries there yeah, got the wall sucked back into where it needed to be got that wall lifted back up where it needs to be close that huge gap back there so yeah. yeah, all nice and rebuilt. Alright, well, that'll do it for now. Next is put the foam board insulation in there and get the paneling installed for the floor. Alright, later. Hey guys, just wanted to share with you real quick. If you don't have one of these things, it's called an oscillating saw. I recommend you get one. And they're a bit noisy, but holy crap, are they nice to have. Uh, it makes getting into like these tight little spaces pretty nice. I mean, if you gotta like shear a nail or something, or you know, trim a piece of wood that's in a really tight spot, it makes really nice, you know, it's nice getting in there to get that out. So, yeah, these things work pretty good. This one I just happened to pick up at Walmart for like 18 bucks. Uh, stupid cheap, loud as hell, but works beautifully. So, yeah, just thought I'd share. All right, bye. Hey, just wanted to give you a bit of an update here. Got the second section of the floor framed and insulated. Got that part back there all done. So, just kind of moving our way. Ugh forward yeah that's a mess so yeah so it turns out right around the toilet area everything was rotten and the only thing holding anything up was about the two inches of ice ah oh, yay minnesota all right anyway so as you can see progress yay progress all right well about to go cut the osb board for the next section of flooring so i'll go get that did and take another quick video after that all right well later all right and here is the next stage of the floor completed and the cracks along the wheel wells filled with foam getting everything sealed up so on to this section next so i'll be tackling all this crap this weekend see how that goes and then work on all the electrical get the new LED lights wired not installed but wired at least and get those ran to a switch 
and that fixed a couple of holes in the ceiling. This is where the first major leak came from. So I took that all apart up top, siliconed everything. So hopefully that'll work. And then where this stupid crank up antenna was, I took that out and yeah, I found out there was a huge hole underneath of that. So ended up putting a big old chunk of metal up there and siliconing the crap out of that just to seal everything up so just to let you know those 98 cent for sale signs the metal ones at Walmart work miracles for fixing holes in ceilings so another little tidbit of information but anyway I got some new parts in the mail from Amazon uh, I'll do a quick little video of that sometime soon just to show you what's going on there with the lights so show you what i got give you prices and whatnot and i'm pretty sure we're going to name this camper amazon prime or something i don't know because we keep ordering all the parts for the damn thing off of amazon so i don't know we'll see all right well until then that's going to be a fun project all right see you later